I like reading books. See, in this room, in this room, I have at least, at least uh, 300 books. Oh, wow. At least 300, yeah. 300 books in, in I this can, room. I, I, yeah, I've already seen a few. I think I've seen, I've read a few of those. I wrote Sapiens as well. There, okay. Okay. I read, I read Sapiens. Oh, wow. Good. Man. Good. So I, I want you to do something for me. I, I What I ask all my, all my guests to recommend five books for my audience. Okay. okay? Uh, so okay. do that for me. Okay. Book one, uh, okay. Diary of a CEO by Steve Bar uh, Stephen Bartlett. What was it called? Diary of a CEO. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Diary of a CEO. Uh, yeah. Fantastic read. I I I, um, I listen to his pod podcast very much. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. Then yeah. you'll know exactly. Where of course. Is. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed that book. I actually recently finished it. I think I finished it about maybe a week ago. Really, okay. Really good. Uh, another book I'd highly recommend is Principles by Ray Dalio. Oh. Oh, I I bought that book for my first daughter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Really, really good read. Really enjoyed that. Um, another one is Limitless by Jim Quick. Mm. How I haven't seen that. Okay. Okay. So basically, um, Jim Quick. I'll give you a short story about who he is, and then I'll tell you about his book. So basically, he grew up with like a, a learning disorder. Um, mm. and basically. They labeled him as a kid with a broken brain. Mm. Um, ah. And um, he then took it, he took it upon himself to kind of like teach himself how to learn. So, so the book is all about teaching yourself how to learn. And then he's got a lot of like uh, tips and tricks in the book to teach people how to learn and how to retain information. Oh, oh. the guy is Asian. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, see, I, I don't remember people's names. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I've, I've, uh, I've even attended a couple of his webinars. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. So Great. Jim Quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Kim, uh, yeah. Jim, another yeah. one is uh, Barack Obama, uh, The okay. Promised Land. See? see uh, oh, you've got yeah. it? Oh, his books are other. Ah, uh, okay. All his cool. books I are there. Oh, I can actually see it. I can actually oh, see it. On, the, yeah. on that row, all his books are there. Oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really enjoy. I really actually enjoy Promise Land. Uh, okay. Especially because sometimes, like, I think, you know, people are really quick to kind of like uh, put blame, especially on uh, on former presidents, about you know where things currently are. So it's kind of <laughs> nice to kind of like humanize the guy maybe also maybe understand you know some of the decisions he made and some of the challenges that he kind of went through so mm. i really enjoyed that mm. and then yeah the last i book, mean i i i love li i love reading books of uh leaders okay uh and we can we we can learn a lot of things from yeah the the the, the decision making process is, yeah. is is difficult okay mm -hmm. because all the all the all the different things you need to consider yeah i mean so yeah yeah mm -hmm. definitely and he actually has a really like uh, even in the book he, he spoke about like the one thing is when it's a really really tough decision yeah you, he uses probability which i thought was really nice you know weigh out all the options and if you can get to 51 percent then you can make a decision, which I thought was really profound. Mm. Because, you know, sometimes you think you need something to be an absolute, but like usually that only happens with hindsight. So yeah, he uses probability to make his decisions, which I thought was really was really cool. Um, mm. and then the last book is Robin Sharma, The Greatness Guide. Hmm. Hmm. What's it called again? Uh, The Greatness Guide, Robin Sharma. Really? Yeah, basically, in the it's like a it's a, it's a traditional kind of like self help book where hmm. he talks about the the things that can make the things that make you great. Um, yeah, and he basically gives a lot of like insights and tips on how to become a, a high performer. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. from waking I, up. I I I I have I have one of one of the, one of the, I've read one of his books before, but I was just okay. trying to think if that you was the, the one. I, yeah, okay. 
Mm -hmm. okay. okay, great, great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.